All right, so we are going to go ahead and declare war on Alsa. Um, I'm doing this because come about the time colonization starts, uh, there's a bunch of events that gives the great powers control over these two regions, Asop or Djibouti. And obviously that's going to be a little detrimental to our ambitions here. So we're going to go ahead and take out Alsa right now. The only issue is that they are currently on friendly terms uh, with the UK. So we're hoping that they do not get involved in the war. Uh, but we'll just kind of have to see how it goes. I think we would be fine regardless of even if they get, they get involved because... I mean, we'll have the ticking war score on our side. Um, so I'm not too concerned. So we'll just have to see how that ends up going. There's they're not allied with them or anything like that. So I don't think there should be any issue. And there we go. So let's take out Alsa. And as you can see, they did not get involved in the war. So we are good to go there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start going back to increasing our influence in these countries because we do want to get them as our spheres um so that when colonization does start we should be able to either defend them or outright get an event to annex them um so that's kind of our goal at the moment uh we're pretty close to all of them actually uh and being able to get them to our sphere so we're closing in on that uh we do have the option to retake crimea right now I'm a little hesitant in regards to our uh, soldier deficiencies. We have a lot of soldiers that are just, they can't support the brigade, um, which will cause issues when war does break out. So I'm going to keep trying to build some guards and update our armies, and hopefully that'll be enough to give us the edge to go to war against Russia. They are allied with the French Empire. We do have... Uh, the Italy on our side, and I think they would help us. Um, it's really a wild card there on whether or not that would be beneficial. We also want to take Algeria, but we can't take Algeria until uh, the French take out Tugert, and I think they have to expand down here too. I'm not sure about that, um, but we'll have to see, and I kind of also want to get these guys in my sphere so we can get control over at least this uh, big portion of Africa right here. Um, that would be really good for us. Um, plus it's direct connection to our empire and the more territories or states that we have connected to our our main contiguous borders then we can get more ports and more navies and so by the late game we could have the a massive absolutely massive fleet so we'll kind of see how that goes okay we just finished inorganic chemistry so my goal here is to pivot over to our industrial techs and start blasting a lot of these out uh we need we need these <laughs> so they'll be pretty easy to get they're only like a few months to get each one just because of uh how low requirements those are uh, but we also have to think about that in 1870 i believe we get access to this uh analytical philosophy which is actually a plus 100 research points increase instead of plus 50 percent so that'll be really good for us to get as well nitroglycerin that's good uh one of the things i want to do as far as industrial techs, is aim for getting the Suez Canal uh, built because that will help connect our empire pretty well. Um, we might also want to look for as our infamy starts ticking down, annexing these two territories. I don't think there's an event for it at all. Um, so we're just going to kind of have to do it manually. It's a little unfortunate, but um, I mean, it's only like five infamy, I believe, because Muscat Oman only has one territory. Same thing with, uh, uh, actually, they have two technically. And they technically have three, so we'll have to deal with it somehow. Um, I don't like how they have control over this, but we'll see. Uh, Empire in Crisis. I don't really know what this is. Uh, the current state of unrest within the Empire has reached a point where the Sultan has been advised to abrogate the Ottoman Constitution. Absolute power must be returned to the monarchy in order to stamp out the militant, and while there are those who say that such action will only foster more unrest, there are all others who are all too aware that failing to do so will make the Sultan look weak. Um, do you want to abolish the Constitution? Um, this is abolishing the Constitution, it looks like, abrogating it, apparently. Um, sets back a lot of our reforms. I do not like that. Um, so, obviously, reform must for move forward at... Uh, no matter the cost. So we get five prestige for doing that. And it looks like our reactionaries get a little uh, peeved about that. Um, apparently not nearly as much as I thought, but I don't think we actually have a huge percentage of reactionaries. 14.4. Well, I mean, that is a lot, but 
not enough to make a difference. Alright, so apparently I just discovered the Nile, so I got 100 prestige for that, which means we can take the Reclaim Persian Lance decision because we weren't able to take it because we dropped down to rank 5 uh, instead of rank 4, where we have to be rank 4 or above to take the decision. Uh, Italy is kind of closing in on us, so I'm going to go ahead and take the decision right now. Only gives us cores, doesn't give us our Spark of War at all. Uh, so I think we will be fine there. Um... We do get the 5 infamy, get 50 prestige, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Um, the second thing is that currently Italy's... Actually, I guess Italy won that war. They were at war with uh, Austria, but I guess that's over. But Germany, the UK are at war with France, who is allied with Russia. Now, if we want to go ahead and take Crimea right now, uh, that's probably the best time while France is occupied and probably won't honor a call to arms, uh, which puts us in a pretty good position, even if they do. Uh, Italy will probably be able to take care of the weakened French troops. So it's a pretty good time for us to go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm just going to wait a little bit longer. Uh, I'm just building up the army or just making sure all the armies are in position uh, for war. So that's only going to take a little bit longer. And then we will go ahead and attack Russia. Alright, uh, I think we should go ahead and start the war there. Tech is about at parity as ours right now. It's a little unfortunate. Um, but I think it's about the best time we'll be able to really get for this war. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now and hope for the best. So, actually, we can't take the decision. Why can't we not take the decision? Uh, for all cores owned by the Ottoman. Oh, because I took the reclaim. Hmm. We don't have to be at... Uh, we do have to be at peace. If we attack the Qajar Empire, it would probably be a quick war, but Russia may get involved. If Russia gets involved, I'm pretty sure we can't go to war or take Crimea. Uh, unless... It doesn't matter if there's a truce timer or not. We also have reclaimed the Caucasus. We have to have all of our cores at the moment. So we'd be able to take Crimea, the Caucasus, and the Qajar Empire. So we're going to actually go for the Qajar Empire instead. <laughs> uh, would Italy accept? They will. So let's go ahead and take, uh, I think, Sharkey first, and then we'll take the others. Uh, we have to visit our troops largely position. Um, so I'm not too concerned. So let's just go ahead and get this taken care of right now. Uh, I'm actually going to send these guys down south. So let's get this war started.
All right, so it looks like uh, the Kajar Empire has given up in defeat. We now have what we wanted. Basically, all of Western Iran is now ours. Uh, I'm trying to debate if we should go for... This is a plus 5% education efficiency boost. This is a plus 5% as well. Um, or we should go down the uh, pop increase route. I think I would rather keep focusing on our education because that's going to be what propels us forward the most. Um, and either of these really matter per se. Um, I think we should just go for getting that basic school system in place. Um, but yeah, so all this is now ours. Um, we can do reclaim the caucus and also retake Crimea. Um, Corinth Canal. Oh, that's over in Greece. Interesting. Um, the other idea here. So for the caucuses, um, that does not send us to war. We don't have the infamy for it, though. So basically, we have to consign ourselves to doing two different wars. Um, hmm. Or we can wait a little while longer. It would be a few years, though. And we have to consolidate a little bit anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and wait. Um, I don't even think... Yeah, France isn't at war anymore. They're still mobilized, apparently. Um, so we're just going to not push for Crimea just yet. Uh, I don't think there's a time limit on it at all. Though we do want to get it sometime soon because we do want to get revolution and counter-revolution. Um, and that's going to allow us to reform the entire empire. Um, but those decisions will basically cancel out these ones, I believe. So we're going to have to take that relatively soon before that ends up happening. Uh, we'll worry about that in a sec. Alright, so we just got analytical philosophy, which boosted our research points by about six. Um, I think at this point we move towards some of these techs. So machine guns will be really good because that's a plus five defense, I think, for our... No, it's plus four for our soldiers. Um, so we do kind of need that. Um, especially if we want to go against Russia, I feel like. So we'll kind of focus on that for a little bit. And then maybe pivot back over to our industrial techs. We also kind of want revolution and counter-revolution, so we might actually want to do that one after. We'll, we'll, we'll think about it. We'll, we'll figure that out. Ooh. Okay, so we just got archaeological expedition. Normally, I would go for the research points, but that one infamy loss is uh, kind of nice. Plus, it's another 25 prestige. Oof. It would propel our research about two, three months. But you know what? We need to lose that infamy, and we want that prestige. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. A little bit different than what I typically do, since I usually prioritize the uh, technologies. But we do want to expand into Russia. Um, and this will help us do that even quicker. Okay, so it looks like Italy has gone to war against Austria-Hungary. Uh, who's allied with France. Which does cause quite a few issues for us, since we want to go to war against Russia. Question is... You know what? I don't think that's a question. We are going to accept. Russia won't be involved. I was waiting for to see if uh, France will take Algeria. So we can do the retake Algeria decision at the same time as doing uh, the Russia one, but... Man, the timing of this is slightly awful. <laughs> we were so close. But uh, I'm fine going to war against um, France again later. So I'm not going to, you know, it's not that difficult of a thing. Uh, we'll just have to kind of reorient our troops to the west, it looks like. And they will accept peace right away. I think it's only this territory. Yep. So we'll take the peace offer. Uh, I guess Italy gets its little 
Slice flan. <laughs> um, okay, so that was a pretty short war. Didn't really damage anything too much, except we did get or lose quite a bit of a capacity there, but nothing that we can't deal with. Okay, so what I've noticed just now is that uh, France finished its war against Algeria, so they're all conquered. Um, but the UK and North Germany are currently at war with them. So that gives us two opportunities. We can probably do both. We can retake Crimea and reconquer Algeria. Uh, though I think retaking Crimea requires us to be at peace. I feel like going after Algeria probably the quicker option right now. So let's go ahead and reconquer Algeria first. And then move forward with... Uh, with, with uh, Russia. So hopefully that ends up working out for us. And let's see. Oh, they're not allied with uh, Russia anymore. Because they probably peace out. Okay. Well, that works for us perfectly fine. Okay, there we go. So, Algeria will take peace. Or not Algeria. Uh, France will take peace now. Um, we're going to go ahead and accept that. I figured there'd be some border gore going on. Uh, yeah, this is a little annoying. I guess they had this and took the decision to take this. So, whenever we end up at war with them again, I guess we're probably gonna have to look into, uh, taking these two really worthless provinces. In fact, it probably doesn't mean anything besides it contributing to border gore. Um, so we'll just have to figure out how to really handle that later on. Um, otherwise... We're in a fairly... 1880 is almost around. Uh, 1880 is going to cause us quite a bit of pain. We want to get all these guys under our control. Um, I think it takes a fair bit of infamy to do that. I'm going to try to sort of hang in here a little bit. Um, Russia did annex all these little sub-states. <clears throat> so all they have right now is France as an ally. And that's basically it. Um... What I can probably do is wait until Italy gets their truce timer uh, reset with uh, France. And then try doing a war. Oh, okay. So we actually do get to take these two areas. We got our event. Um, yay. Because that would uh, would have been really annoying. So I'm glad that that was part of the mod. <laughs> Alright, so we got the Berlin Conference. Uh, I guess there's a few things. We do the Sahara Frontier uh, and the Darfur Explanation. So Saharan Frontier is going to give us a bunch of land right there. So that's actually quite convenient for us. Uh, the second thing is that we are now going to uh, war, basically. So for Africa. Um... Darfur Expedition is a go. And we do have one army right here. It's not that much. So probably try getting a different army or another army down here because uh, it's pretty limited. Uh, kind of limited there, huh? <laughs> if we had a canal here, that would help things quite a bit. Uh, but we do not. So we'll have to deal with it. All right, so there's Darfur. Uh, I don't think there's really any other African decisions to do. Yeah, it doesn't appear like it. I think I might just leave these troops down here just in case the scramble starts happening. Um, from the looks of things, it looks like we're probably fine. All these guys are in my sphere. So hopefully that dissuades anybody from making any funny moves. And apparently Russia is over their infamy limit. Uh, I'm kind of curious what happens with that. They're at, they have a truce with the UK and Germany already. Which is a little unfortunate because I feel like those... Oh, but they broke their alliance with France. Would Italy join us? They would. Could I get... An alliance going with Austria. I'm going to wait a little bit, see if I can get Austria to do anything for me, but we'll see. Um, a style protector over Galetti. It costs two infamy. Oof, I want to do that. But the thing is, each of these will cost two infamy, most likely. 
we end up being a lot of infamy. Or we start losing it for me. Though actually, I want these guys for sure. These guys down here, I'm kind of fine leaving um, out of it for a little while. So I am going to go ahead and inherit them. I think that's the best option there. As far as we can't retake Crimea because we're over the infamy now. Well, we're not over it, but we will be over it. Uh, which kind of ruins the idea of trying to... Uh, take advantage of the fact that rushes over the capacity there, but hmm. we could try getting an alliance with Austria-Hungary. Uh, the main thing that's limiting us is our infamy and relations. So if we get higher relations with them, we might be able to get an alliance with Austria-Hungary. If they're involved in the war, then I think we'd have a really good chance to uh, take out Russia. Now we have Wadai... Oh, what do we do? Can't we just, like, take these places? Or is that not a thing? Five infamy to establish a protectorate there. Or we could lose infamy and... Hmm. But I also want would I. No, let's keep them independent. I'll re-sphere them. I was just trying to check that. Okay, I'm really starting to think that it is time to go to war against Russia. 109 brigades? We can deal with that. And that's like before mobilization. But we need to... Gosh, freaking dang it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we need to wait for our infamy to tick down. A little bit more. It's a little bit more. Alright, we have our five infamy leeway. Uh, they still aren't allies with anybody, even though they are below the infamy cap. So, as long as we do this right, we can take out the Russians. <laughs> uh, it will definitely still be difficult. Um, that's enough for another army. Uh, my plan here is to kind of siphon, uh, the Russians down this way a bit. So we can engage them here in the steps. Um... Which make it a lot easier. I'm actually going to send these guys out over here. It should take the Russians a fair bit of time uh, to actually get anywhere decent uh, against us. So I'm going to send them all out here. So we'll kind of siphon them through here, kill them as they take attrition through going through the mountains. And here we'll just kind of push through, uh, just like we normally would. So as long as we have the proper leaders... Uh, where's some good leaders? You are pretty good. I don't think we have to worry about uh, Austria-Hungary doing anything funny by allowing a military access for uh, Russia. So, I mean, our relations are pretty decent. So I think we will be fine. So, let's just go to war. I'm going to save it really quick. I doubt I'll have to actually use it, but I don't want to have to redo all my uh, unit movements. So, retaking Crimea. Five infamy, 25 prestige. <sighs> Let's go. Okay, so apparently the Russians will already accept the peace offer. Uh, that was pretty quick. That was actually no issues whatsoever. Um, they were marching a lot of their troops down here, which is probably a good idea, so it frees up a lot of my defensive lines here. 
Um, I think that's partly what helped, but I guess we were just so far ahead of them. Um, you know, the question is, we want to take more in this war, just take this. Uh, I honestly do not know. Um, are they puppeted by Kazai Empire? That's interesting. Uh, I don't think there's really anything I would want from them, is the thing. Liberty, liberty and puppeting, like, Ukraine or something? That's a crazy, actually. Uh, we will not do that. But we'll just take the piece. Let's kind of see what unfolds there. We do have Crimea now, which is pretty crazy. That's a level 5 port. Kind of curious how that happened. I don't feel like they would have the tech. And of course they don't have the tech for that. No one has the tech for that. That's not till 1895. How do they have a level 5 port? Obviously some sort of event, but I will take that level 5 port. It's mine. Uh, we could actually do this, but oh no, we can't. We need to get 10 infamy uh, buffer there before we take that decision. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just march right back and uh, probably cool down for a few years, wait for the scramble, um, and hope for the best. Interesting. So, we just got the Incorporated Crimea event. I essentially, we could lose 15 prestige to get cores here and make Tartars uh, an accepted pop. Or we gain 10 prestige and no cores. Um, let me see. How big is... What is it called? Um, so, it's a T... Let's see, pretty far down here. Tarita. 140,000 pops. Um, I'm sort of leaning. I don't think there's any reason to make it a core province that has add Tartar as an accepted culture, I don't think. Do we even have that many Tartar pops in the Empire? I think it's only like these areas right here. Tatar. I pro I'm probably butchering that word. Um, so what we're probably going to do, because when we take the Caucasus, it's only going to be this portion right here, I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't think we take that area. Uh, I can double check really quick. Uh, where is it? Did I pass it? Okay, yeah, so it's only these areas right here. Uh, that's what I figured. And there aren't any, uh... Harder pops to really tar pops to worry about. So I'm actually just going to say Turkish dominance must be protected. Uh, we'll get some 10 prestige. That'll be kind of cool for us. Uh, I mean, that could be dealt deal with later. I'm not too concerned. Um, this area is only useful for, I mean, I guess the, the port here. Um, and as a staging ground against Russia. Um, it's pretty useful in that regard as well, I suppose. Uh, I did get the Transylvanian troops. They're kind of stuck here. It's kind of funny. Oh, another thing that's happening is I am going to be going ahead and getting the political parties reforms all done and taken care of. Because I'm pretty sure we got all the decisions that require us to not be a constitutional empire. Um, so we're going to go ahead and reform to a constitutional empire. And then we'll take the decision to get um, Albanian, Bosniak, Mystery, Azeri, and Mastriki added as accepted cultures. Which will increase the amount of uh, accepted cultures by a lot. Uh, meaning we can go ahead and start recruiting a lot of these other populations as guards, um, which will help us a lot. So, looking forward to that. And there we go. So now we are a constitutional empire. So what that does for us is it means we should be able to take this decision as soon as we get a citizenship policy that is not uh, residency. So we could switch over to the conservative party. Um, or we could even do... Hmm... Both of our... Oh no, actually, I like this Socialist Party. It's pretty solid. Um, the pro-military, I would rather have be Dingoes, but... And yeah, the Conservatives are also residencies. So we're going to have to switch that in order to get those accepted cultures. 
Um, I am fine doing that. We can go in and switch for the Osmondly uh, Koilu. I'm not even going to try saying that. Um, but now, that means we could do two new decisions. Uh, we can authorize the Bulgarian Exarchate. Uh, I'm not really sure what that does beyond causing people to lose militancy. Um, so... I'm fine doing that because it doesn't actually do any border changes or anything like that. So let's go ahead and also uh, institute the accepted cultures. So the Imperial Reform Edict. That's going to actually increase our research points as well um, and decrease militancy by a lot. Uh, so there we go. The Empire now has a bunch of accepted cultures, which means we now have uh, not as many guards to choose from as I thought we would. Um, so we could probably go through a lot of them and just start deleting a lot of these regular infantry units, um, and just reforming the military. But I'll obviously do that off camera because you guys don't want to deal with that. I assume, uh, we actually can get Alexandria as a state. Um, it's decent. Uh, we can make it into probably bodily works, um, work, work for me. And yeah. All right, we can now build the Suez Canal as well, because um, we just got, was it steel propelled? Steel propelled steamers? Screw propelled steamers. Um, so, Suez Canal right here, build Suez Canal. Uh, I am fine paying over 500,000 because I just want this to get done. Uh, what does that mean for us? Suez Canal under construction until 1890. So we have about seven years before that finishes up. Uh, I'm debating whether to go to S Raider Group Doctrine uh, to expand all of our naval bases, which would be really handy for us. Um, oh, I totally forgot about phenomenology and hermeneutics. Okay, well, we are going to get that first <laughs> because I have. Uh, oh, I should have done that way sooner. That was my bad. Uh, looks like Italy's going to war against Austria-Hungary, but Germany's involved. Oh no. Why would you do this, Italy? Uh... For Istria? I thought we already got Istria. Did we not? Oh, Austria-Hungary's declaring war against Italy. Okay. Can we win? I don't know, but I'm going to fight for it. <laughs> they, they should not beat us around. Uh, I have 18 out of 30 tech. Germany has 19 out of 30. Okay, 17 out of 30 for Austria-Hungary. And Italy is 16 out of 30. Um, yikes. So, let's get our fleet. Actually, I want to get these guys over through. Um, let's pick you up. Let's send you guys in. It's a little unfortunate because I deleted my armies and I was trying to reform them. Ah, they don't have any infantry then. This is a bad war to be involved in. Um... All we need to do is get them to peace out. But Germany has so many units that kind of uh, is a little scary. Uh, we'll see what we can do. Might not be much. We might just have to concede. <laughs> In fact, should I? No, I, I can't. Hmm. Well, let's get the war fighting. I don't think this is going to be winnable, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, but we'll see.
Okay, we just got a 39.9 war score from that one battle. Peace us out, Italy. Peace us out. <laughs> like now, please. They're, they're everywhere. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, hey. We are so lucky. <laughs> that war would have been so bad. And it's literally because of that one battle that happened over here, too. Uh, let's demobilize and hope to survive still. We lost a lot of units back there when that battle happened. Um, we get a place in a suncast belly against Germany? Oh, they took all this area. Oh, they took Zanzibar from us. No wonder we get a cast spell eye against them. Huh. Oh, they're taking everything all of a sudden. Alright, so we've got a research point. Yeah, as you can probably tell, our literacy rate is skyrocketing much quicker than it says it is. Um, I still don't really know the entire mechanics behind it, but I'm pretty sure it's because we're promoting pops into literate um, categories. Strata. Uh, anyways, we are... What should we go for next? Social sciences, I don't think it's kind of necessary anymore. I think we have plenty of uh, education rates. Um, probably some commerce techs, to be honest. I do kind of want Raider Group Doctrine as well. Uh, but that's not super imperative. Though I guess it might be soon. But we have a lot of colonial power leeway. Uh, to work with, and I think we have Fort Construction until 1889. Um, so we can go ahead and fire that decision, or try getting it by 1889, and just fire that decision to uh, get all those uh, uh, ports built. Okay, so what is this? The great powers of the world. So something about Congo. I don't have any territory in the Congo, I don't think. So it doesn't really affect me at all, right? Yeah, I don't care for it. Uh, I will take the 50,000 and lose the infamy. Oh, wait. I did lose a province. I lost Lotto. Which is kind of strange why that would be a core. Because that makes no sense. Uh, that's probably a mistake in the bot, I would assume, because that's a really awkward looking border um okay i guess oh i did not expect that so nationals expelled from abyssinia we basically get a free annexation on abyssinia okay i mean that's a lot of units but they can join my, my military. And plus, we have, like, a significant advantage as far as mil tech goes. Um, and I have been reinforcing all these armies. So I think we're in a pretty good position to just, you know, uh, take them. Obviously, that was never a question. We are going to take Abyssinia. Uh, it's just an unexpected opportunity. And there we go. So, annexing Abyssinia. Let's get this war going, it looks like. Uh... Yeah, fun stuff. There we go, Abyssinia will take the peace offer, and there we go. All Abyssinia is now ours. Uh, we create a state in Yemen. That sounds cool. Uh, let's do it. There's not really a whole lot here to... I mean, I guess we could make a bottling works. 
just because they do have grain. Otherwise, we can change this into a state. So there's not really anything here either. I guess we add it to uh, this state already, so that's actually fine. All right, there we go. Now we can construct level three naval uh, bases. So we are going to go ahead and do that. Um, I believe. Is that level three or level four? Yeah, level three. So now we have level three naval bases everywhere. It boosts up our uh, colonial capacity to 4,000, which I think is about higher than every other nation. We just have a ton of ports. Basically, more than anyone else, because it's all uh, connected to our empire. So, that's good for us. Yeah, Russia does not get carry body. Might. They want to go to war for it? Go ahead, you're already at war with the UK. <laughs> Alright, it is now 1900 or 1890, and we have the Dark Continent. Uh, instantly. So, <laughs> colonization, here we go. Let's start taking it all. Well, we can't take it all because of all the GFM events that basically make it so you can't. But we can take all of these territories. Uh, I don't think there's anything else that we can realistically take anywhere else. Uh, but I believe uh, we should be able to get some Cassus Belli's against some of these nations. I'm not entirely sure how that works. Because I don't see any decisions or anything like that. Usually, they just kind of randomly pop up. Uh, but a lot of these nations are in my sphere. So I don't know how that sort of changes things. Or maybe we can just start annexing them because they're in our sphere without infamy. We'll see. We'll, we'll wait a little bit and kind of see what happens. Um, Wadai has high elisions with me. Yeah, Savage Protector doesn't do anything still. Okay, that's that's dumb. <laughs> France just took that entire region that we were trying to colonize. They better not get anything else, though. Okay, so I figured out what was happening. Apparently, apparently, when the Berlin Conference starts, you're supposed to get a Cassus Belli you can use to conquer any of the uh, African miners, right? Um... But, you have to have a capital in Europe, you can't be Russia or Turkey. I didn't know that. Now, I don't know if it's wrong for me to uh, change it so that Turkey can <laughs> use it. Um, but I did. It's kind of too late anyways. But, I am going to go ahead and use that. I, mean, I guess we could have... Had I known that earlier, we probably could have been trying to uh, do some conquests. But, uh, of course, that did not work out that way. So, I did change it to allow Turkey to be able to do it. We'll kind of have to see how that ends up going. Uh, apparently, you got Chai or France over here trying to take it right away. Um, we're going to jump in and take that. I guess they got an event to take this area too so it's like all the colonial powers just have events just take all the regions uh which kind of sucks for us because we want to colonize it ourselves um but it's all pretty much scripted so we're pretty limited in that regard but we'll deal with it ah the suez canal so in the year 1890 the suez canal was finished glory to the ottoman empire uh what does that even give us there let's say we get Precious goods. I'll take it. Oh, that's really good for us because now our main fleet of 96 ships, all of our ironclads and torpedo boats and steam transports, can now traverse throughout our entire empire because we can now go through the Suez. So, fantastic for us. I do not like the British to be able to have this little port here. Uh, from a geo-strategic standpoint, they could block off the strait. But, I mean, they can't do that in Victoria too. but it's it's... I don't like it. Um, actually, I can't. Can they actually do that? I know they can walk through there, and it kind of keeps us from being able to walk through here. So, I mean, it does actually have an effect in the game. Uh, so we will take this at some point. It does look like it is... It's also a straight control tile. If we're at war, they could block our fleet from getting through. 
So yeah, um, no bueno. <laughs> we gotta go take this out at some point, and it looks like we have to. It's considered a state of theirs as well, but we'll we'll deal with that. As always, please leave a like down below and consider subscribing if you like to see more content just like this, more frequent uploads. If you have any suggestions, go ahead and leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time.